no body, no decals, but it came with uh, a 4.3 liter V6, which I thought was pretty interesting. It was mostly built and shit like that, but I kind of got it almost all apart. Here's the chassis to it. It's uh, more left hand, or what it, yeah, left hand, you know, and it's too long for the Camaro. So, I don't know, I have to maybe do something to make it fit in the Camaro like this. And I'll show you the up and down. But I just wanted to give you a close up of some of the stuff like that, yeah. I was just kind of messing around with it, you know. Since I got the Ford motor. And uh, the ASA Camaro. Had this rear end in it. Which that's pretty sweet. So that's definitely going to help out with the Camaro. And a lot of these. Uh, I'm going to be able to use. These for the wheels when I get it. With the spindles. Because it came with suspension. And I got two seats for the Camaro. Hey. My my buddy's dad he was using the bodies for slot cars, and he gave me uh, all the some of the parts. There wasn't that much stuff in it, but there was uh, this one, the chassis to this one, and uh, chassis to this one, Quaker State, and I think another one. Well, the Maxwell House. There was another one I forget, and then the ASA Camaro. So, yeah, the little window net. So all this stuff might work for the Camaro. I got some of the, uh, I dechromed all that. Uh, so, it's a cool shifter after using the Camaro. But yeah, the front suspension, I think that's what I'm going to use. See, look. It'll just fit right in those spindles. Like that. So that might work out perfect. And then we'll have the uh, front. So I'll be able to put that in the engine. And hook up everything up that way. Uh, the top piece is going to work good in the Camaro. Oh, it's more streamlined like that. So I'll be able definitely be able to go off that. So, yeah. So he just gave me all this stuff for free, you know. Like it's got to have a little panel in there. Because it was all to one side. Uh, these other... These are the little uh, ladder bar type things. And more of the side, which will help contour to the Camaro. And I think on the Camaro, I'm just going to try to cut out that door section and replace it with just like a flat piece. You know. And the hood. I was doing this to the, the Camaro, 70 Camaro. With the MSD that I had from one of the kits. But I don't know if you can't see it. Uh, and then the gauge is on there. And try to fill it in and use that. For the 70 Camaro. But I might just use the one from the ASA Camaro. Oh, you can't break it. Let me see. But maybe take the MSD boxes off the other one. Or whatever they are. You know, control ignition. And use that one. It came with some cool Hoosier tires, but I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use those on something else. And the rims are sweet from old school, you know. Some of these back pieces. Like, I'll be able to use that for the Camaro, hopefully, you know. And, yeah, like I said, I was looking for seats, so those should work in the Camaro. Stuff like that. And the only thing is... With using the front off the Camaro, this one was one of the Ford chassis, and it almost fits. Oh wait, here we'll stop on this. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, this is the, I got an update on the bike. Um, I got pretty much the motor good, it's ready for spark plug wires and exhaust. I got those uh, little stators or whatever they are, gold and silver and 
Got this painted. This used to be a black. Got that like aluminum color. Um, put both sides on. Yeah, got that gold on there with uh, little bolts, silver. And the exhaust. I got a, a lot of the exhaust together. Um, it, I'm going to go darker color. We're going to have uh, carbon fiber decals go over that, that part. So... And then some of the what is it uh brake some yeah yeah the brake where the brake goes I got that I'm gonna have to fill it in I may make some of that black inside flat black and then, then make the nuts and stuff like that uh, silver got these pipes painted silver and flat black got the chain gold and you know yeah that I think I don't know if you can see a little bit Oops. got that kind of you know detailed up a little bit needs a little more work but yeah and then this all smooth and this that's pretty smooth, and there's a lot of the ones I'll have to do more, uh, maybe black in that one too, and this one is the front, I think, so I'll do a little more work on that, and then these little, uh, ignition packs, got those red with silver around there, so yeah, that's, uh, here, let me, yeah, I'll get it more, and some more paint markers, you know, and there was more decals from Maxwell House and some these with the the jack stands on them with the nice NASCAR wheels or school got like three of those two packs of those and uh oh yeah and another thing Rick the ruler got a shop card for him yeah I like that man I'm gonna have to do me one of those Low riders. Shy Town Tuners. You can catch me on Facebook and YouTube. For sure, buddy. Let's go to the back. Thanks for your support. No problem, buddy. Thanks for your support too, man. And uh yeah, I, I've got a whole those are, that's all the Camaro suspension that I had to put put together, so I don't know like what I'll be able to use. I haven't really worked on it much. Been really, really busy. So sorry about not making too much videos. And I also got one from Rick Zink. Skeletal remains. Scale auto restoration. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Let me get the, the, the glares everywhere here. Yeah, that's cool, the old motorcycles. I always enjoy watching his videos. Same with Rick the Ruler. Can't wait to see that until the S10 is done. Um, yes, and then um, let me see what else. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. I was going to make a drag slot car out of this. Uh, I think it's a dot D50. You know, I had the hood all shut, you know, and all smoothed out. You know, I was going to make it a drag slot car. 